Can your distributor do your translation? That's today's question. Rapport International, Professional Translation and Interpretation Services. Well, having your distributor do your translation certainly works great in some ways. It's cheap, they're motivated because they want to get it done, but there are some risks that you take with having your distributor do it. First off is you've spent time developing a marketing message and you're clear about what the benefits are and the differentiators are that you're trying to communicate to your market. You know, why are you better than, than product B over there? Now, distributors are salespeople, and if you've ever talked to marketing and salespeople, you know there's a communication style and a motivation difference that is inherently built in there. And salespeople oftentimes are much more built about around price and delivery and very tactical decisions. They're not thinking through how a marketing message goes. Now, a distributor is basically a salesperson, so when they take it, and to do the translation, they may lose all that research that you've done on the positioning and the value that your product can, can offer in the marketplace. So that's one risk that you take. A second one is, is they're in country and they speak English well enough to work with you if you're here, based here in the United States um, or in an English speaking country. And so they can communicate with you as to what needs to be done. But are they fully bilingual? Are they educated? Do they understand the grammar and the punctuation and the hidden meanings? Have they lived in the, in the native uh, language culture enough to know what meanings are there? Um, so that's the second one is they may not be fully bilingual to actually do the writing in it. And the third is they're not professionally trained translators. So if they come across something that has a meaning that um, they don't understand, they may convert that to something else. And then again, you've lost the marketing message. Um, another reason is they um, have a lot of competing priorities on them. So they may get, they may rush it or they may get to it when they want to. Um, and that may not serve the needs for how you want it done with quality to they take the time to get it done. And then once they've done it, uh, the translation into their language, are you going to give them access to the website to upload it? Or are they going to give it back to you? And if you get quality questions because you've provided them um, website access, I mean, if you provide website access, there's a whole bunch of problems that could end up there uh, because it's not your website, your webmaster doing it. But if your webmaster is doing it, they may not be familiar with the, the languages that are going up there. So there may be drop text or there may be um, inappropriate spacing. Um, but if you give it to the distributor, who knows what could happen with the integrity of your website. So also considering th through who's going to load it up. And then who's thinking through that we've just done this translation for the website. We also need a spec sheet or a handout for a brochure at a conference. That translation can now and should be reused because... Uh, in marketing, you want to be consistent with your messaging and what you're saying. So who's going to think through the multiple uses that you can get for a translation? Um, and then any changes that come in, say you change the English content or you've updated something or you've the specs on the product have changed, then you also need to go back and do that in the translation, and that can be quite cumbersome to manage. So there's a lot of considerations than simply having your distributor say, hey, we can do your translation, and then they handle it in Spain. They may also, if they do Spanish translation, you may also be able to leverage that in other Spanish-speaking countries. So before you just say yes to your distributor doing your translation, really think it through. And if you want any advice, uh, feel free to reach out to me for a free consultation. Whoever you choose to do your translation, think through the ultimate cost and ROI. Number one, does it have the ability to affect your bottom line? If it's marketing materials or if it's something that could cause you pain, Hire a quality trained translator that can really de de um, deliver to you so you're not affecting your bottom line poorly. 
Number two, think through the liability of the translation. If it's a legal contract, if it's um, release materials, if it's um, you know distributor agreements, um, think through what liability you could actually have, uh, because it could be it could lead back to a huge legal case. And in addition, professional legal translators are going to advise you on things like if there is a question between the translation, which language is going to prevail. So these are the kind of subtleties that people can help you with if they're professional translators. Number three, do you need it to be 100% accurate? Because if you need it 100% accurate, you want to hire a professionally trained translator that can make sure they're getting all the grammar and the punctuation and the messaging correctly so you look good out in the marketplace. Number four, version control. If you just go willy-nilly and ha have anybody do your translation, then you'll have versions all over the place. And if you need to do edits later on, it's not as simple as going back, doing the edits, and then doing the translations. Um, you may have multiple versions and that can cause confusion. Number five, a lot of large companies are starting to look at translations as a return on an investment rather than a pure cost because you can now measure with all the online marketing that we're doing as to who is going to your website and consuming the translated uh, materials. And from that, you can see what your return is on it. And all the research is showing that people would much rather consume information in their language, their native language, even if they speak English, and they're willing to pay a premium if they can get services in that. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you'd like more information, we can actually help you develop a 4x4 matrix or a 3x3 um, that looks at you know what kind of return will you get, a low to high return, um, what kind of cost, high to low cost, what should go in those different categories, and then also consider you know what has liability. Liability may be you know high cost, low return, but if it's going to limit your liability in the future, it would be willing to do. We're always willing to talk to you about your materials and give you free advice on when you can use any of the forms of translation. Happy to help. If you found this video helpful, please share it, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you like hearing fun language and culture facts and goofs, use the link below to subscribe to our bi-monthly tidbit newsletter. And of course, visit our website for more information or to schedule a free translation assessment.